day six of the La Sonato kale, also known as dinosaur kale. This variety began being cultivated around the 18th century in Italy. The school of aquaponics. Moving on to day 31, um, the plant is growing average, just like it's supposed to be growing. No, no signs of any deficiencies at this moment. I'm just going to slap some of this OMRI certified pesticide on top of it um, to prevent a lot of the bug attacks that will occur because bugs love this kale. They love the kale, especially aphids. Oh, man. And I can understand why. Kale is a super food. It has a lot of nutritional value to it, a lot of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K. It's one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet, which is why it's known as a super a superfood. Here we're at day 38, super green. You see what's going on? You can tell. That's why plant the pests want to eat the plant. It looks very delicious, and it tastes delicious as well. What we're doing here is just picking off some of the dead uh, or the dying leaves off the plant because they're not doing anything for us. All they're going to do is attract more pests and uh, uh, bring more disease. So we're getting rid of those. Splap some more or another round of the OMRI certified product on top of the leaves. And we're just continuously smoothing and we're cruising on through this growth cycle. Everything's looking well. Everything's going well. And according to plan, um, this is one of the slower varieties of kale to grow. It takes usually about five to ten days more on average than the other varieties of kale or some of the other varieties of kale. Um, so here we are at day 44. Leaves are expanding. We're also applying the third round of the OMRI certified pesticide on this crop, making sure that there's no bugs that are going to come interrupt this grow. Like this is a serious thing, especially here with the aphids. These guys are usually here year round. Here it's cold around this time when this video was shot. It's, it's still around the winter time. And if you're not careful, you still will have aphids during this time. Now, day 53 comes along. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. The leaves are stretching out and the plant is close to maturity. It's close to maturity. I mean, it can grow. These plants can grow two to three feet tall. But as far as the maturity level, um, it'll be there in about the next 10 days. Now we're at the harvest day. This is day 63, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Now we could have let this crop grow much longer and we are going to let it grow longer. But this is would be the maturity day. I mean, we could have waited maybe one or two more extra days would have had it fully mature but you know it's pretty much there um we can just take it out observe it and we can see that there's no um pest damage that has been done to the plant the plant has gained all of its nutrients that it's needed potassium magnesium sulfur um all the type of macro and micronutrients that the plant needs um and we can just pick from the bottom this is how you would harvest this plant you can pick from the bottom the larger more mature leaves you can pick those from the bottom and you can let this plant continue to grow this plant will grow two, three feet, even larger than that. I mean, this plant has a large potential, but this is the maturity age right here. And then we pick whatever we want. We can put it back in here. This is the beauty of growing aquaponically. We can take things out, observe it, put it back in. Can't do that with soil. 